This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbilmec, a bit of planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? Today I'm going to show you guys a charging session of the Pulsar 3. This is 111 kilowatt hour battery, and I managed to finally get a successful charging session. And you know, it supports 250 kilowatt, but it's 400 volt car. So uh, we need over 600 amps, 600 something amp, and you can get it today on supercharger v3 v4 so that's what i did i got a little weird dip in the speed i'm going to show you as things happen so fast but uh, so i charged there first and i was like huh what is this some kind of thermal or coal again and then i disconnected i drove to nebenes or but I, not relevant for you guys I draw a 30 something kilometer loop came back again tried again got the same dip on a different stall. So I was like, okay, it seems like it's a feature, not a bug. Okay, anyway, let's roll the tape. So you see that um, initially we get 250 kilowatt, bam, I include also EL8. EL8 is also 400 volt and it can hit 250 kilowatt. It just goes a little bit slower, the ramp up. Uh, no, it's not 250, 240 something kilowatt. Yeah, still very fast. And then IX1 doesn't go that fast. Uh, these are 190 kilowatt. I also include Q6. All of these cars cost roughly 1 million nook plus minus, and they are big SUVs, right? Big family cars. But the Q6 is 800 volt hyped up architecture. You see how fast they're driving compared to the other ones. 34% already. Uber schnell, still taking 200 plus kilowatt. But look at that. Even the EL8, which is 400 volt car, can also maintain quite nice speed. Huh? What about that? Wait, what happened to the 400 volt hype here? Okay, back to the Polestar. The Polestar was quite. Um, disappointing when it comes to speed because it couldn't maintain that speed for too long and it's even whopping 111 kilowatt hour even the ix yeah, ix is going at a, a quite flat curve wow okay uh wait which car is leading okay q6 is leading wow hey, but el8 is right behind huh look at that huh it's just slightly behind the the, the q6 that is very impressive with the el8 huh? neo for the win okay and then uh ix in a, uh, is on a third and then polestar is on the fourth wow Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, the Polestar goes quite slow now for a big battery. Uh, okay, back to the battle now. Q6 is still in the lead. Uh, EL8 is right behind it, but still nice and flat curve on the EL8. Wow, okay. But then seems like IX. Wow, okay, the IX is far behind because it doesn't have that high speed initially so you see the the q6 and the el8 at least they got a nice boost in the beginning at 200 plus kilowatt right 250 something kilowatt so that's why it is hard to catch up but wow this is very very impressive that you see that the, the el8 speed is kind of neck on neck with the q6 huh uh it's just right behind the q6 there but the q6 seems to hit 100 percent first well or is it this el8 is right behind it this is so exciting man i don't remember what's gonna happen now but uh, okay uh, el8 throttles a little bit and then q6 gets the win to 80 percent there 22 minutes and then el8 also roughly 22 minutes okay and then uh ix is on the third still going kind of slow oh whoa whoa look at this the ix actually now charges slower than the polestar 3 oh maybe this is a chance for the polestar to get back in the game kind of ish yeah okay but uh q what, what the heck is what? el8 is ahead of q6 what the heck is going on here you see that el8 is running faster than the q6 right now wow is the el8 gonna hit 90 percent before the q6 oh that would be total humili humiliation of the germans man the germans to the right and then the chinese to the left huh wow el8 has a big lead this is amazing whoa dude is it gonna hit 90% for yes EL8 beat Q6 whoa whoa it's game over now okay anyway uh, back to the IX um, mm, mm, okay still kind of hanging in there Polestar is oh oh okay the Polestar had a nice flat curve for a while you know 135 kilowatt or something but then it also eventually needed to throttle so yeah Polestar is still far behind all the others but okay the Q6 I think I at one point I stopped charging because it goes kind of slow huh huh the el8 is so far behind uh, so far ahead of the q6 wow but okay back to the polestar versus ix at least the big big batteries the 111 kilowatt hour it's kind of actually kind of right neck and neck now between the e6 and uh, uh, ix and the and the polestar 3 right now but the, oh, oh now the ix charges faster okay 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 you're right all right it's not not gonna be enough but uh, huh? what the heck 
Okay, okay, now the EL8 is going slow. Okay, past 95%, it's like, oh, I'm out of Und, oh, scheiße. Uh, and now the Q6 is starting to inch on it, but um, I think I didn't go to 100% on the Q6, unfortunately. I think I was running out of time or something. But okay, the IX is about to hit 90%. Actually, before Polestar, wow, so the Polestar, there. The Polestar 3 is the slowest charging car of them all here. Wow, okay. Uh, well, uh, now we're just gonna see Will the EL8 uh, finish before? Uh, um, whoa! Suddenly the EL8 charge is a lot slower. But wow! Look at this nice comeback, Polestar. Polestar past ninety, but then charges so much faster than the EL8 right now, and even the Q6. Wow! What the heck, man? If you really need to utilize the whole battery, then Polestar 3 is still kind of in the game here. But the, also the IX charges uber schnell, sixty-three kilowatt. Well, the IX and the Polestar they can charge so fast, maybe because they have eleven kilowatt hour more. I don't know. But um, yeah, okay. Um, I think at one point I stopped the Q6 session, uh, so stuff st doesn't count there yeah, and yeah, there. So this Q6 session is now frozen but the el8 is about to hit 100 percent but it takes a while now wait actually polestar is inching onto the el8 whoa which car is gonna hit 100 percent for that the el8 just totally just collapsed towards the end. okay okay we're not gonna go fast towards the end now um, which is kind of weird because it seems to have a quite massive buffer on those 180 kilowatt hour in neo batteries but uh, whoa, 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 what happened ix ix is also about to hit 100 percent Wow, that was a nice comeback of the BMW. It was the slowest of them all in the beginning, or second slowest at least, but now towards the end, it wants to go to 100% first. Wait, ah, they're all at 100% now. They're at 99%. Who's gonna go to 100% first? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Which car is it now? Uh, Polestar and Ajax, they go, oh, there, Polestar hit 100% first. Oh yeah, I, I, we don't know about Q6, maybe Q6 would have hit 100%, but it goes kind of slow, only 20 kilowatt towards then. Maybe that's why I was like, okay, no, no, I'm not going to wait that long. But okay, it's going to be EL8 or Ajax that gets at least a second place then. Uh, to 100%, um, okay, uh oh, now also the, there, there, EL8, finally hit 100%, okay, and then uh, the Ajax was the slowest, at least 200%, okay. And here we have some interesting charging curves. Oh, okay, so the Q6 has a freaking flat, nice flat curve, bam, but then it goes a bit slower. And then it actually kind of follows the EL8 for a bit here. But uh, somehow the EL8, how the heck did the EL8? Oh, yeah, oh, it was faster towards the end here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's flatter here. So, man, the EL8 had some really impressive charging here. But uh, the only minus with the EL8, you see, this is exactly what I've been talking about. It's the slow ramp up. It goes so slow compared to the other. They go way faster to, uh, to, to maximum speed. Also, Tesla would be even flatter. You see, the, uh, the other cars, they have a little dip, right? Tesla would be instant, bam, maximum speed, and then instant, bam, down. Okay, okay I'm just kidding. But okay. But it's, if you guys are wondering, you know, why is it like that? Okay, but okay. Then the red line, this pole stars. This is the, the the dip I was talking about. It happened twice at two different stalls. You know, after driving and hammering a bit and then coming back and so on. So exact same behavior. So I'm like, huh? What the heck is going on here? Seems to be some thermal issues. And then, but at least there was an update now. So I'm updating the, the pole stars. And maybe this will go away after the update. And then this is also weird. It dips here, but then it goes a bit up. That's also strange because normally when you have like a flat increase here, right? Usually because there's um, a, a new, let's say, uh, current threshold for dropping and then why is it going up is it going up because the voltage goes up huh? but this is not that kind of voltage up versus so it, it's i don't know the pole star curve looks a bit weird uh, and also kind of disappointing because uh, uh yeah i mean why don't we see a flat the curve like uh like the q6 or the el8 for example right but then what about the ix the I the IX50, yeah. What about the IX? The IX um, was at least flat. Germans are like flat curves and they cannot lie. And then it just dips and actually kind of follows the, the Polestar 3. Yeah? Is it like, are these two cars using the same off-the-shelf batteries, the 111 kilowatt hour batteries, and they just tuned it differently? Ich weiß nicht. But uh, uh, I have another theory that you see that 
the two top charging cars here, they're 100 kilowatt hour, but the two bottom bottom cars, they're 111 kilowatt hour. Maybe the 111 kilowatt hour batteries, they have so high energy density that they cannot go that charge that fast or something. Whereas if you go for smaller batteries, then they can charge faster. I don't know, uh, this is just a theory. I've seen it many times, uh, in, the, in the Korean car, for example, why is the the Ionic 5 and the EV6 80, what was it, 84 or something, the new gen now, uh, 82, 84 kilowatt hour, why can they pump out 260 kilowatt quite flat, whereas the, the Kia EV9, which is 100 kilowatt hour, charges only at 195 kilowatt, maybe the same reason, yeah. And then what about the classic Ionic? Was charging so fast, it was was pumped up with cobalt from Congo, and then uh, the the thirty eight kilowatt hour Ionic charges way slower because they use a different battery that uh, had higher energy density but uh, didn't take that many C. Or we have even seen in Seeker now eh? the Seeker Seven X, the seventy five kilowatt hour. That's the battery that charges so fast, over 400 kilowatt. But then the bigger battery, I don't remember how much that was, 100 kilowatt hour, doesn't charge that fast. But I mean, that's a different story because it seems like the, the Chinese, they have mastered the 5C, 6C battery. They're using LFP batteries and they push them because they can be pushed. LFP batteries are so robust and they probably figure out something about cooling and tight tolerance in the temperature between min and max and that's how you can push the batteries. But then other car manufacturers, they haven't mastered yet. Yeah, so that's why Chinese gonna take over the charging game. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.